All right, hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. Uh, I don't know what part this is, but that's not really important. What is important is we have a shiny yellow arm uh, that I also got an upgrade for recently. It's a precision upgrade. I think that's part of our last uh, our last mission. We got, like, a, a Megatronics or something, Mega, Mega Man, Tro Mega Lon uh, Megatron, so uh, something like that. But that's not important. What is important is we got side ops that are gold, and anything gold in this game is primary and story related. So we're going to go in, we're going to do this side op. And I think I kind of spoiled it last time that uh, this side up does this side up does lead into another side up. And they're going to spawn us kind of far away, which kind of sucks. You think you might want to spawn there? And uh, you know what? You might be right. I wasn't. Th I didn't think about this little part right here. I was going to say you'd have to drive all the way around. But yeah, you could maybe you could squeeze in through that, especially with the horse on your side. So we'll give it we'll give it a shot, okay? We're we're gonna we're gonna fly blind here, and it's okay. I did get some upgrades, like I said for the hand. Also got us a new gun, that's uh, supposed to be. Oh dang, does that gun not come with a silencer? Oh, mm, dang it! I thought it came with a silencer. Also got us a non-lethal rubber round gun. Um, which we'll probably switch to later when we can get a silencer for it, but right now it's just kind of for looks. But, uh, I guess we will be switching back to this. But I did get an upgrade for this, so it's not like, you know, we're coming in with nothing. You know, we got, I got like, uh, I think I got us a, a scope. We didn't have a, we didn't have a dot scope last time. And we didn't have dual magazines for quick reload. Um, I think that's really the only changes. Like, undermount, I think. Scope was scope. We had a scope mount, dot sight two, and dual magazine reload speed up. It says it there on the side, but we also got the sniper rifle, which is probably still not going to get very much use. But hey, we'll keep it around. Whatever. I don't think we got anything else. I never use a shield. I just, I just don't. I don't. I don't. I feel like that's if you're going full combat, and even then, you're going full combat. You probably want to, you know, go big or go home and just get a rocket launcher. But anyway, I think we're good for the rest. of of this stuff. I did change our helicopter up a little bit. It's yellow now. I thought, you know, hey, why not? We're going with the yellow theme. Because I did change. I don't think you can see it on this one. Maybe I'll change our outfit this time. We'll go with Tiger with a scarf. Well, you might not be able to see our emblem. No, just the diamond dog. But if we go to, like, standard, you can see our emblem. I just change. It's hard to see right there. But I just change it to the Foxhound thing. But you know what? Let's show it off. Let's just go with this. We'll just go with the. I usually don't go scarfless. I kind of. It's actually kind of bugging me a little bit. But we'll do it. We'll do it this time. We'll show it. We'll do it. Baby, you know it. So we'll go in at 1,800 hours. We got the horse with us. So that's pretty good. I feel like I've had multiple. T a t like multiple times where I could have got us like a, a Jeep to drive around. And that's pretty good because it's pretty quick. Doesn't handle super great off road, but you know you can get used to it. You can learn your way around the rocks and uh, every other pebble that it wants to trip over. But you know, other than that, it does pretty good. But you know, I guess we'll get we'll show off the horse while he's still around. You know, before too long, he's going to take back seat. We have reports of a crack sniper at large in the Afghan wilderness. The Soviets call this sniper Tiki. Quiet. There are never any sightings, and only corpses are left behind. The Soviets have already lost a number of officers. You'd, uh, best watch your step. Alright, so, uh, there you go. Looks like, uh, Ocelot gave us some new intel about a sniper that's been on the loose called T. I thought that was pretty funny. I didn't, I don't recall that from the last time I played. It, I never even remember him giving her a different name than Quiet, but... Hey, whatever. I'll roll with it. I like that one. That's not a bad one. I thought Quiet was cool, but then now I, I hear Tea Heat, and I'm like, wow, that's actually a, maybe even a little bit better. I'm loving our yellow chopper. Usually I go with, like, a blue. But uh, I'm, I'm liking that. So let's see. Let's check the map here, because also it's not talking about anything. I usually know the map well enough to where I don't have to set a marker. And, you know, if you just, like, head in that direction... You know, you can find your way, but we'll set a marker this time just for you guys. Also, you know, I would recommend it, you know, especially if you're new to the game. I thought that might have killed the horse there because I couldn't see him for a minute and I heard, I felt, I felt the controller. I was immersed and I felt the controller vibrate. But yeah, I recommend, you know, dude, don't, you know, feel free to abuse the, the waypoints, you know, 
So I, I think you got like five or something. You got quite a few. Let's check it out. Oh, God. Right now, we're on a mission. It wants to give us rewards right now while we're on a mission. Yeah, because of the staff stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, three. Just three? Yeah. Whatever. I do know when you get up close to one, close enough to one, um, it'll just disappear. So that's kind of convenient. That way you don't have to go in and get rid of it yourself. I doubt anyone will really see us here if I get up, but I just want to play it safe. I don't want to have to shoot anyone in the face today. We actually have a new friend on on the set. You know, go ahead and say, what's going on over here? What is this? I don't remember that. Anyway, I want to say this is it. This is where let's see if we can get the Vinox out. Maybe we can take that over there. Yeah, this looks like it. We might have to climb, which is okay. We can get the horse back later. But yeah, we got a new friend on set. Go ahead and say hi, Vance. I got a new fish. It's just a fish. Can I really not take this? Wow. This helicopter, I think, is conveniently placed. That way I can't take that. Uh, which really sucks, to be honest. I think that's... Yeah, we're going to have to hoof it for now. So, uh, maybe I'll see you guys over there? Yeah. You okay? Could it be that sniper? Quiet. Quiet. Our silent assassin. Where's the sniping point? Boss, focus on your objective. You need to make contact with Emmerich. Get out of that sniper's kill zone and head to Ciroc Power Plant. Alright, so as you can see, on our way to make contact with Emmerich, we have ran into the crack shot sniper Teehee, aka Quiet. So uh, there's a few ways to take out Quiet. Um, probably the most easiest way is to just, uh, yeah, you can use resupplies. And, you know, assuming she don't move, she might move on this one because I did take a little bit. Uh, but we'll give it a go anyway. But um, what you can do there is you can actually call in supply drops on her. And I'm only going to do this once. It takes, yeah, she moved, so it didn't even work. But um, you can take off about half of her health with one of those. Um, another thing you can do is, um, I think there's a sub-objective to, uh, um, to use hand-to-hand -hand combat and take her down. I'm not going to go for that one. That's a little bit difficult. But, you know, not undoable. We can totally do it. But, uh, what I like to do is, uh, just get into a sniper fight with her. And you don't have to worry about being lethal, non-lethal. This is just a straight-up boss fight, so, you know, go all out. What she does there, she's going to fire at us, and then I like to fire at her. I actually hit the bird there, which kind of sucks. So we did a little bit of damage, and she's going to move. Usually after she gets shot, she gets, she moves a little bit, and you can usually stay right about here. You usually don't have to move in any direction whatsoever. And when you're peeking out, I don't think she can get you, and when you use your binocs, I don't think she can get you. Another thing you can do is sometimes use the 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 um, night vision goggles that sometimes works but really you want to look for a glimmer like there I saw I saw it over here and then you can kind of home in on her by using your microphone because she hums and you see bottom left on the on the on the microphone for the uh, binoculars it goes it it you know it goes up as it detects noise so so I like to bait her into a shot 
and pull a shot off of my own. And usually after one shot, she'll move. So we're just going to keep doing this. You know, I might try and move up a little bit. We'll give it a shot, make it a little bit interesting. Let's see if I can get a melee hit on her. That's usually pretty difficult because she'll move. Um, but sometimes she'll move to a spot close to you. And that can sometimes be, that can work in your advantage. So she did move over here somewhere. She usually does, I've never seen her not go where she was running. Like, um, she'll usually run across the field and then kind of jump and teleport. I've never seen her run to the right and then teleport left. So usually if she's running to the right, you see her running this way, you probably want to look in this direction. I saw a glimmer somewhere. Uh, it's over there. I think it's behind that pillar, though, so I'm not sure if we can... Yeah, it's it's over here somewhere. Let's see if we can home in on her. There's the bird. That was a task to see the bird. I think it was a task to collect the bird, actually, I think. All right, so I'm not finding her. She will move after uh, so long. So, you know, if you are having trouble, you could just hang back and try not to get shot. Where's this glimmer at? She might have already moved. Because I'm not seeing the glimmer. Although usually you can see her moving. She kicks a lot of dust around. If you don't see her, you can always jump out of cover a little bit. And then, you know, hit the X button and jump back into cover. Because I'm not seeing her around. Just any time she gets the sights on you, just get out of there. Just jump somewhere behind anything. I'm not seeing her at all around here. That's not her, is it? Oh, that is her. She did move, and I didn't even see her. So, let's see if we... Yep, that's not good. Yep, she got me. It's okay. It's okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're not okay. Get down, Snake. Get down. We're okay. We're okay. I try and be careful when I'm getting on cover, because she'll sometimes see you on cover, too. So, you got to be careful about that. But I do usually like to be in cover. That makes teasing her out of her spot a little bit easier. I'm gonna try not. I'm gonna try to just bip her this time, cause I couldn't get into cover there. Snake was being a little bit fidgety. So we took a hit there, but we should be okay. Another thing I've never seen her do is um, go to a spot where you're already at. Like this is one of her spots that she'll jump to. But I think if you're already here, she won't come here. So that's something to watch out for. I also burped in the mic. Hope you enjoyed that. And if you didn't, I'm sorry. That was unfortunate for both of us. Um, some interesting that she sometimes does, I don't know if it has to be day or night, is I've actually seen her go and play in the water before, under the waterfall. I'm not sure exactly what triggers that, so I can't really do it for you here. I can just kind of hope that maybe she does it and we catch her doing it. But, um, you know, as far as what does it, I'm absolutely not sure. I'm sure there's a guide somewhere online that probably will detail give a detailed description on how that works I think she went over here somewhere but I just don't see her yeah which is unfortunate because usually she sees you first okay so she's over here somewhere I can hear her humming the problem I'm having is I can't see her go go snake Okay, so I think we might have a visual on her now. I still don't see her though. Let's see if we can get her on the on the heat vision. She might be behind that tree. That can be a little bit difficult to spot her when she's behind the tree because I think she can still see you through the uh through the tree. Oh wait, I think I see her right there. Yep, there she is. I usually like to mark her first before I go in to shoot. See if we can't get a headshot. That might do more damage. I think I missed there. And then she moved, so that sucks. So yeah, here she comes this way. I've never actually been this close to her before she teleports. She will drop her grenade if you're too close, so you gotta watch out for that. Oh gosh. Oh, yeah, we took a hit there. I did not see her at all. It looks like she's over by her horse, if 
I had to guess, that is one of her spots. Yeah, I'd say she's over there somewhere. Night vision goggles aren't really going to work. You can sometimes get lucky and just spot her. From here... We got her there. So we're doing okay. You got to be careful if you're playing on harder difficulties, though, because one shot is, is death on this. So I'm actually... I'm being a little bit sloppy. I usually don't come out from that original spot. I'll usually use the supply crate deal or just shoot her from there. Um, as far as handling her hand-to-hand, -hand, you kind of got to get a little bit crafty with that. Use smoke grenades, uh, hope for a sandstorm, maybe. I actually don't know where she is now. I'm kind of hoping I don't get shot. Uh, uh, I thought that was her, maybe. I think it is an objective to get this bird, though, so maybe we'll shoot that bird and then maybe not go up there to get it because that would be way too much walking or way too much climbing. I don't see her anywhere. I don't even see a glimmer. Oh, she sees us. All right, let's see if I can... I'm trying to find her. I just don't... See if I can home in on her with the microphone trick that sometimes works. See, I'm picking something up right around here. Ah, uh, there she is. Yeah, there's the microphone trick being handy. Now I just gotta pretend that I can get a shot on her. We actually shot her first that time. If you're quick, you can sometimes get her twice, but usually not. I feel like the hit detection there is a little bit off. So let's see if we can actually try and watch her this time where she goes. That would really help us out. Yeah, I didn't see anything whatsoever. But I'm assuming, oh, there she is. She might be heading back over to that direction where she was a minute ago. I don't, I know where our head's kind of sticking up here, but I don't think she can get us. Looks like there she is over there somewhere. Yeah, see her dusting up the, or moving the smoke around. Alright, so this should be the kill shot here. I'm hoping anyway. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, so there you go. We got her. With those abilities of hers. No doubt about it. She has to be one of the skulls. Now move in and finish your boss. She's working for Cypher. Quiet is a valuable source of information, boss. There's no need to kill her. Think carefully. This is your decision. Alright, so as you heard there, also I said it's our decision whether she lives or dies. So let's uh, walk up here and see what we think. The female sniper. Quiet. Cypher's assassin. Finish her. Hurry up and kill her. No. Killing her would be a waste. Bring her back here. Boss. Boss. Boss, you're not thinking of bringing her back here, are you? She works for Cypher. We don't even know the extent of her abilities. She is not setting foot on this base. Good work, boss. Can't believe you took her down alive. Don't bring her back here. Let's find out what she really is. This is too dangerous. Kill her. Don't bring her to our home. This is the boss's decision. I'll send the extraction chopper. Boss. You know I've always got your back, but if you bring her here, I'll just have her killed. 
so as you heard there, we, uh, we're going to bring Quiet back to our base. So, uh, you know, taking a prisoner this time, we didn't decide to kill her. You actually can kill her if you do that. I would uh, advise against it because that will avoid the um, main ending, I guess you could say. Like the primary ending of the game, like the true ending, you could say, I guess. So uh, I would recommend leaving her alive for at least story purposes. If not her wicked awesome sniping skills. And those sweet stockings. So it looks like we're going to put our uh, meet and greet with Emmerich on hold. We're going to get out of here with quiet for now. We'll come back. Emmerich's not going anywhere. He's a prisoner too. We'll get him. Don't worry about it. At least we got to show off our sweet sniper skills with this amateur sniper. This is like a hunting rifle. It's not even that great. But hey, Snake, he knows. He knows how to use any gun. Also, I love how we pulled out like M1911 is what it looked like when we're carrying a, 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 a tranquilizer pistol in our holster. So let's see our rank in S. I'm actually surprised about that because I thought the time would really kill us there. I really did have to gallop all the way from that landing zone we picked. And, oh gosh, that was that was quite the trek. I pretty much went through all of Afri or Afghanistan. So that S is pretty cool. We also got Tortoise, codenamed Tortoise. That's pretty sweet. I like that. And also Monies, almost $300,000. Not quite, but almost. I like it. We had to pay taxes a little bit, like deployment tax, support costs, you know how it goes. We also got some heroism, which is pretty much useless. Ooh, and more rewards? Oh yeah, sniper quiet, that's S rank uh, stuff right there. Yeah, and uh, heart stuff, tortoise stuff, yeah, it's all it's nice, we're, we're not really going to use it though. Six. Steady at point four miles. It's tailing us. Don't lead it back to Mother Base. Roger. We'll shake it off.
way she's setting foot on this base. Boss, she's with Cypher. Thermals! She saved the boss. She was saving herself. Fire! Put her in the cell. Boss! Keep an eye on her. Right. Take her away. What are you waiting for? Move! You are going to regret this. That woman... I know. She knows our location. Either way, one of these days we're gonna have to kill her. But now is not the time. When the time comes... I'll pull the trigger. Clear shortly. Boss, about the sniper you extracted, quiet. We set up a cell for her on the medical platform. The medical team is looking into her abilities. I'll let you know if they learn anything. And boss, leave Miller to me. If we manage to get some intel out of quiet, that should satisfy him. In the meantime, get on the chopper. You need to head back to Afghanistan. Make contact with him. Alright, so there you go. That was a pretty sweet cutscene there, featuring Quiet. Also, I was thinking while I was watching that cutscene that Ocelot's also a really cool character in this game. I mean, he's cool in, in all the games he's in, sure, but, you know, in this one in particular, Troy Baker did a really good job. Um, I just, so I wish he was, like, a playable character, or was even in it a little bit more than he is. But, you know, hey, what are you gonna do? You know, he is, uh, he's pretty cool, though. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll do it for that part. It was a really heavy cutscene part there at the end, but, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was a pretty sweet, uh, Jet versus Sniper action cutscene, and then also a bunch of dudes with guns and Miller cutscene was pretty cool, so let's just, uh, bash this guy into the ground and, uh, 
I guess I'll just uh, I'll see you guys next time. I want to thank you guys. Uh, th thanks for watching. You know, th thanks for watching.